I love playing basketball because I get to be social with my friends and have lots of fun. It's really exciting to play. It's my favourite sport. I love shooting and scoring. I love watching the WNBL and it inspires me to play in the league one day. I barrack for the Boomers. It's my dream to be in the WNBL. I love basketball. Buries that one. Crucial basket at the other end. She's been impressive. Look at the nylon on the shot with the reverse go. Big play. Massive play. It's been almost two years since the City of Churches has had a look at the WNBL, but basketball is back home in Adelaide. It may be week two of the WNBL, but another season opener as we see the Adelaide Lightning for the first time. The 5-8 and eight team in possession of the reigning league MVP, Steph Talbot, up against the Townsville Fire, the team that is featured in six of the last nine grand finals in this competition. Let's see what they've got for us in the new season. Corbin Middlemass and championship winning coach Laurie Chiswick on hand. Laurie, what are we in for today? Well, Corbin, I have crunched all the numbers and it is just too close to call. I have to say that I think that, um, uh, that, that towns will have more experience and they'll be really anxious to go one step further to make sure that they, uh, you know, they lost to Southside in that grand final last year and Adelaide, well, they may be young, but they've got some serious talent, some serious height out there. And we know that Chris Lucas's team always play a great defensive game. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this match. There's so many great narratives to pull apart. Chris Lucas is one of them. Of course, a guy that's well known to both teams. He had championship success with the Townsville Fire. Uh, and now, obviously, he's coaching the Adelaide Lightning. He's in his sixth year back, but his tenth year overall in charge of the team. He is just Mr. Experience. He's, he's, he's such a great coach. He, he gets the best out of his players. If he doesn't have a super talented team, he just seems to eke things out of them. And we can look at that starting lineup right now or, or the lineup for them. And, and Alana Smith, we see her debuting in there. And we know we feel like she's played in the league before, but this is really her first WNBL game. MVP winning Steph Talbot, she's out there. And uh, their bench is filled with Abby Wehrung. She'll be really crucial to this lineup as well. We'll learn more and more about the imports, obviously, as the, the season progresses as well with uh, Kiana Williams and also Kylie Shook, uh, both part of the Adelaide lineup outfit. We'll tell you more about them as the game advances. There is the league MVP in Steph Talbot, of course, back for another season. And the Townsville Fire, uh, there's no Shyla Hill this year, no Megan McKay, but there is a lot of familiar names on that list. Laurie Chiswick, seven of the players from last year returning. And really, you can make it eight because Michaela Cox is back as well. Oh, exactly. And headlining that is Lauren Nicholson, who had a sensational season last year. So expect big things from her. And, and great to see Michaela Cox back there. I'm really excited to see Monique Billings play elite, elite rebounder. So let's see how it goes. Let's get this game started. Laurie Chiswick and Corbin Middlemass for the call, the third member of our team, and I'm very pleased to welcome. He's really been the soundtrack of Australian basketball my entire life, and I'm very lucky to work on a broadcast alongside the great John Casey. Uh, Case, welcome into uh, the WNBL and a new home for the Adelaide Lightning, I see. That's right. Welcome to you as well, Corbin. Hi, Laurie, and good afternoon, everyone. Good atmosphere building here at the Lights Community and Sports Centre, expecting around 700 through the doors here. It's about 10 k's northeast of the city. It's the home of the North Adelaide Rockets, who, of course, won the WNBL title back in 1990. In the NBL won Central Division. Their men won the championship. Their women made the grand final. A lot of success here. And today, likely the Adelaide Lightning can get off to a winning start. These teams actually played on this date last Last year, Townsville won by 29, but I think Adelaide can turn the tables here, although the Townsville team are fired up. Thanks, Case. Looking forward to chatting throughout the broadcast. So there is the Adelaide Lightning lorry in the predominantly navy with the red and yellow accent. And, of course, the Townsville Fire last year's grand finalist predominantly in orange. Lauren Nicholson, of course, part of their outfit. What an outstanding season she had last year named as part of that all WNBL first team alongside Steph Talbot. So um, two of the stars to look out for to, uh, this afternoon. And some of those players, and we'll, we'll talk about throughout this broadcast, had great experience playing in the Asia Cup. We know Akuzo had a, had a really 
uh, a good tournament. So it's going to be fun to watch them play and, and see how they've progressed since last year. And how, again, fantastic is it to see fans out there in their numbers in Adelaide uh, and a new venue. So really exciting for the Adelaide Lightning. Townsville missing the playoffs in six of their first seven seasons have now made the grand final six of the last nine years, obviously with three titles in that time, the last of them back in the 17-18 season. Well, for Adelaide, they obviously started in the competition back in 93, started like they'd been shot out of a cannon, won four championships in the first six years, and yet they've made the playoffs only five times in the last 13 years trying to arrest that what will the new season have in store for them away we go the lightning and the fire and the lightning come up with it first and it's the reigning league mvp steph talbot with the opening touch of the basketball around the horn it goes down low bangy bodies alana smith chucks it away and has now turned it over picked up here by reed great hat Great hands by Steph Reed just to be really active with that and get a steal straight away. There's Murray to Akuzo. Had such a breakout tournament last year. Trying to kiss it off the glass. Doesn't go. And pulling down the rebound. Back out it comes. Nicholson with the three. And the first points of the game to Lauren Nicholson from long range. And would you expect anything different, Corbin? She's just the linchpin of this team and her barometer of this team. And to get that first three is a fantastic start. Alana Smith for three at the other end, a little long. And the rebound pulled down by Zatina Recuso. Nicholson again, right side. Just in the front court to Murray. Now to Reed, left hand side, 45. Works around Billings, drives inside, puts up the shot, doesn't go. And pulling down the board, Kylie Short, the big import in the pivot spot for Adelaide. He's where up. Kicks it back out. Jump shot goes up, and it's no good. Just catching the front of the rim from Smith. Probably a few nerves. This is the first game for both of these teams. Nicholson with the only point so far on that made three. Reed up top to Billings. Billings drives it at the rack. She's fouled on road. And Monique Billings will head to the line to shoot a couple. The 25-year-old. Four years at UCLA in the NCAA system. Drafted to Atlanta. Coming off a big year as well. In the oh. WNBA with 31 games, 8.6 rebounds a game, Laurie Chizzy. That was a really good read by Billings on the pass out from Steph Reed. That the defense wasn't sent set and so she just punched it in straight away and, and caught the defense off balance. And, and now we see her making her first shot at the foul line. First shot's good, second shot up, bank those as well. So five to nothing, the early scoring going the way the Townsville fire. Now press on full court. Smith with the handoff, oh, a loose handle. Spilled over the sideline and the fire are going to get it back. Again, that was active hands from Steph Reed. She just got a little deflection in there. She's She's been really influential in this first couple of minutes of the game. It's Kiana Williams, the guard there, as you can see on screen for Adelaide. The last touch over the sideline. 173 centimetres. A successful college campaign at Stanford. This is Mia Murray. She needs no introduction to veterans for the fire. Out to Reed, running the point, trying to work her way through the key. Kicks it out, Nicholson. The handle pulls up from the baseline. That's a nice finish. Well, it's a nice finish, especially since there was only two seconds left on that shot clock. Seven to nothing to start for the fire. Get a better angle at it here, Laurie Chiswick, the pull-up J for Lauren Nicholson. And that's somebody, you know, when the clock is ticking down, you couldn't ask for a better person to have the ball in her hands. She knows how to create. She knows how to get her shot up herself. And uh, we saw that there that she finished off superbly. Now a timeout called as well, so... Seven to nothing to score early through the opening couple of minutes. The Adelaide line is still trying to get... On the board, yeah, just let it go. Here. Remember, He's don't worry about getting it there. Catch it there. They can't guard you at all off the bounce, right? Hey, let's go next offense. So let's go one. 
Right, we'll go one. So lodge off, coming off. So just come off uh, Z's side, right? So you'll come out, hit a step few space, dribble it up. If they keep blitzing you, right, come set this pick. If they trap Z, you just roll to there and open up, right? We'll just hit you straight away and then read it. Mo, if your player rotates to that because you'll be on this corner, you can backdoor. But if the other player rotates up, this corner backdoors. All right? Yep. Oh, ball, ball screens. If you guys can't get there, just drop. Yeah, hey, if they can't get there in the transition ball screens, we'll just drop on them and zone it up, right? Here we go. Here we go. Fire. Good job. Good job. 224 in, 7 to nothing. The Townsville fire. There's Kylie Shook, 196 centimetre American. Plays in the WNBA with the New York Liberty. At 30 games in the season. It's just gone. A handoff here to Williams for three. A little long on that attempt. And pulling it down to Kuzo on the rebound. The early advance. Billings trying to lay it up. Drew some contact. No foul call. That was a great outlet pass and running the lanes by Monique Billings. Talbot draws the foul here. Nicholson kicking it up the court. Big year for Steph Reed as well, obviously, former Southside Flyer, made the move to Townsville. No Shyla heel this year, so you'd think a little bit more time for her in the backcourt, Laurie. I would well well we see her starting today um, and that's fantastic for her because Sutton is injured uh, a knee injury and, and she would normally start so for Steph to set in that starting lineup uh, for his first game is fantastic John Casey courtside Corbin you'll see the Adelaide Lightning are wearing a new blue strip this year and there's five B's on the side of it which mark their five championship wins outside of the Canberra Caps and another one expect as Adelaide the next most successful WNBL team as a Cuso from close range has a bobble around and jump out I spoke to Andy Simons whose daughter Sam's playing here on debut for Adelaide he told me the rings here at this venue are very tight don't be surprised to see shots just jump out of the rim when normally you expect them to fall mm, that's it's a good scout uh, case we've seen that a little bit already in the game, seven to two, the fire lead it over the lightning. Here's Kiana Williams. He was drafted in the Seattle Storm, of course. A couple of our WNBL favorites, as he Mac McGaw and Steph Talbot cutting their time there in the big league. Pull up jump shot, Alana Smith, her first points. Welcome to the WNBL. And isn't it great to see her out there playing and and she's had some injuries. I spoke to her earlier. Her ankles are good. She's ready to go. She's so happy to be back in Australia. So happy to be playing in the WNBL. Around the horn in the corner. Mia Murray for three. Misfires. Talbot works it up the floor again for Adelaide. Wera dumps it down low. Here's short little step back. That's neat. Wow. How easy did that? Did she make that look? Just a good positioning with her body in that nice little step back. Down low to Billings, works her way to the rack. She's fouled. For Kiana Williams. Should go to the line for some more foul shots. John Casey. Corbin, Monique Billings, uh, big things expected of her this year by the Townsville Fire. She was caught up, would you believe, in a hotel quarantine fire in Cairns just two weeks ago. So she's had an eventful start to her time here in Australia. And I know she's playing for the Townsville Fire, but that's probably a little too close to home. But with the Atlanta Dream, more than 100 games in the WNBA, I think she's going to be a star this season. Well, she's certainly impressed so far just in her ability to put the ball to the floor, get to the rack, read what's happening out there. And uh, defensively, uh, we have see her matched up on Alana Smith, so keep an eye on that all game. Only got out of quarantine last Sunday as well, Monique Billings. Nine to six, Townsville by three. It's Talbot. 
Back in the front court for Adelaide. Touch on the way through for Macuso. Here's Billings. In transition, back to Macuso. Pops it up and again fouled. More foul shots coming up for Townsville. I like how Townsville are really pushing the ball and, and trying to create something early. You can see here, her eyes were up. Macuso really ran the floor well and took it hard against that physicality and now finds herself at the line. Still only 23 years of age. Feels like she's been around forever in the competition. Obviously starting at 17. As we touched on earlier, really a breakout season for her last year. And tournament-style play as Townsville made their way all the way to the grand final. And she was a starter for the first time. The five-point spread. Wear up. Off the dribble. Takes on Reed and Reed slaps it away from her. Adelaide ball underneath their own basket. Still 10 left on the red numbers. Talbot up top, short catch and shoot deep two. That's good. Well, there we have an idea of what her range is like now, whether she can step out to that three consistently or not. But that was a really sweet shot. That is going to cause problems. If you're 196 centimeters, Laurie Chiswick, you can shoot the ball like that from range. It's going to take some work as Mia Murray answers at the other end for Townsville. And we know that that's absolutely in her wheelhouse from the three-point line. Isn't it great to see the players have settled into this game really quickly now and are making some of these shots, stretching the floor out, shooting from the three-point line? Good to see. Oh, Talbot to the basket, cut, shot goes up and gets the shooter's roll. I feel like given we're in John Casey's company, I think, John, is that a user-friendly role? Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> Take it away. You're doing a great job, Corbin. <laughs> Four-point spread. And a basket for Adelaide. Oh, loose pass down low from Lauren Nicholson. Everyone not on the same page early in the new season over the baseline. And it'll be Adelaide ball here. This is Kylie Shook. Jumper again, Laurie Chiswick. Pretty good. Akuzo's hand was right there. It was a contested shot, so that's a great mate. Week two of the WNBL, the season opener for both these teams. First look at Adelaide and Townsville as he whistle here on the play on the way through. Foul call to be baseline ball for Adelaide. I liked how Taylor Ortlip on that um, dribbled handoff really cut close to Alana Smith, and close to her shoulder to try and round that corner and, and get her feet in the paint and, and drew a foul. Sideline ball, then it comes. Taylor all about that. Back to Talbot. Tries to swing it to the weak side corner and chucks it away. Kayla Cox back on the floor, back in the league this season. The veteran for Townsville, Acuso, a loose handle. Wrestled from her. Acuso has another go and throws it away this time. Adelaide recovering. Here's Alana Smith out to Talbot. Pulls up for three. Off the rim. Over the baseline, it'll be Townsville ball. There's a look at Chris Lucas, Laurie Chiswick, 10th year now in Adelaide after five years in Townsville. A couple of championships along his uh, 14 years as a coach, missed the playoffs only four times. What a, what a record that is, Corbin. I mean, you know, coaching, coaching for that length of time and to have that record just shows you the... Um, the amount of time, the the effort that he puts into his coaching and, and what he makes of his players, um, it's fantastic. It's Michaela Cox, the 35-year-old. Missed last year. Coming to bump to Nicholson. Up top to Payne, out in the corner. Michaela Cox for three, bounces off the iron. Akuzo pulls it down. Oborn backs away and shot up, fouled into the line again. The Townsville fire. Right, 
That was a good read by Akuzo. It looked like she was going to, her first thought was to pass it, but she had some patience, recognized that she could go one on one against Alana Smith, and uh, took it hard to the basket. Shot misses. They've been perfect so far. This is foul shot seven and eight for Townsville. Just the two so far. Early doors for Adelaide as she makes the second two possession game. Alana Smith driving all the way to the basket. Got the contact from Akuzo. And we'll have some foul shots to come at the other end. That's exactly how she loves to play a basketball, Alana yeah. Smith. Even though we haven't seen her at the WNBL previously, she knows how to play hard. Made to earn them here, John Casey. Well, Zatina Rakuso really making Alana Smith uh, work for these, as you say, Cor, when they're teammates in the Australian Opal squad that was announced last week, which will play its first game against Serbia in February. There's actually five players in this game who are in that Opal squad, so there's plenty of quality. He's paying sharp pass down low. Akuzo fights with the contact, puts the shot up, no call, and the O board are the def defensive rebound rather than Talbot. Just a bit rushed on that, Akuzo. She had more time I th than, than I think she realized. Smith. The baseline, the contact from Payne, turnaround, jump shot's good. Alana Smith with a nice bank for the baseline. Closes the gap to a single basket. Payne going on a walk out in the corner. Akuzo from that mid range can't connect. Long range shot up from Badish doesn't go, and Payne's fouled competing for the rebound under the basket. How do you see it so far, Laurie? Well, that's a, a second foul now, I believe, on Alana Smith. So she's going to have to be careful. She'll probably come out of the game for a while now. Um, she's so crucial to this team and, and the way she's been playing so far. So we'll see what happens. Alana Smith, 18 games for the Phoenix Mercury. Of course, under the watch of Sandy Brondello, who's just left the chair as the senior coach. Phoenix, obviously, a run to the WNBA Finals. Average six and a half minutes a game after being top ten draft pick back in 2019. She sits down, as Laurie indicated, picking up her second. She had a massive year with the playing in the WNBA, then going to the Olympics with the Opals, and then straight back to the WNBA. As you mentioned, the Phoenix went um, right to the finals. So that's why she was saying she's just really glad to be to be back in Australia and, and, and just being able to have a bit of time with this one team and, and enjoy her basketball. We just witnessed something we didn't see at all last year. Nadine Payne missing a foul shot. She went 22 of 22 last season and one of two on her first trip to the charity stripe to start the new season. So the best foul shooter in the league. Showing that, look, everyone can just be a little rusty early in the season. One of two to start for Nadine Payne. A record that is 22 of 22 in a single season. It's amazing. One possession game again. Billings to the Euro step. This rims out. Hot minute left in the opening quarter. Talbot slick pass. Shot goes up. Brooke can't finish. Cox pulls down the rebound. It's good to see the big girl running the lane, and she'd be disappointed. She did all the hard work and then didn't quite finish. Oh, Billings called for a walk. Adelaide will get it back. 51 seconds left in the opening term. Case mentioned earlier, Sam Simons making her debut today in the league, the 21 year old. Went to college at a place called St. Mary's, Aussie basketball fans. I don't know if you've ever heard of St. Mary's. It feels like every quality Australian basketball player passes through there on their en route to the big time. Certainly have been a lot of Aussies, men and women, oh, that have gone through absolutely. that program. Looks like every high-quality 
So a basketball player, you look out and all of a sudden, yeah, St. Mary's is where they went to school. John Casey. It's just on Samantha Simons. I'm sitting alongside her father, Andy, who played at four NBL teams. And mum, Sharon, played for six WNBL teams. And Samantha was also a member of the under-16 world championship team that won the gold medal in Spain. So she has a great pedigree and we're expecting big things of her with the Adelaide Lightning this season. Looking forward to seeing how she goes, the 21-year-old singlet number 12 for Adelaide. It's Keanu Williams, one of the imports. Up top, here's Simons for three, a first look, a little short. And Payne pulls down the board, chucks it into the front court as time expires, and that'll do us through one. So an entertaining start, one quarter down. And as they have done through that opening period, it's the Townsville Fire who lead at quarter time. Just one possession in at Townsville 16, Adelaide 13, one quarter in the books. Smith in our major domestic competition with five yeah. points also had a couple of fouls in that opening so quarter. Special. Kylie Shook with four for Adelaide. Hey, hey, the energy Here's Chris five Lucas. Points. We've got all that out of our system. All right, let's go. Defensively. Far too many offensive rebounds, guys. Oh, right, there's just four bouncing off the rim and they're cleaning up. Get a body on. There is layups. You're not going to the corner when you don't have the ball. You need you to go to the corner if you don't have it. Steph can go to the point and carry. All right. After the special, go to Iowa. All right, let's get the ball. Look at the slip on the second side. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. Well, what was your takeaway on that opening quarter, Laurie Chiswick? Well, as I mentioned in the in the start of the game, Chris Lucas is always focused on defense and and he wants them to block out more. He's not happy that they've come up with a few old boards, but. You know, they've got the nerves out of them. As you mentioned, they settled into the game a little bit uh, more slowly than the fire, but uh, they'll be looking now to get the ball through some hands, keep that movement going, and certainly keep Townsville off the glass. Leading scorers in the quarter for Townsville. Five for Nicholson, four for Monique Billings. Okay. Nicholson kicks it in to start the second turn to Michaela Cox. And number 224 of her career to Billings, who pulls up for the jump shot. The rebound pulled down by Shook. Now with a bit of pace in transition, Talbot pulls up, shoots early in the shot clock. They regain the ball. Talbot back out to Alana Smith, shoots the three. Oh, and we see that every now and then, an early ball jam in the corner of the rim. <laughs> Send a few of those in your time, Laurie. I have. And it becomes a, a jump ball situation then. So whichever way the possession arrow is showing, that's um, who, who maintains possession. I see the three-point shooting early for Adelaide. So zero of six from long range. Talbot to Williams. Williams off the dribble, works her way through traffic, puts up little floater, doesn't go, and Billings pulls it down for Townsville. Nicholson goes down and a tangle with Williams, top of your screen. Woods, bounce pass to Billings. Down low, Payne still in the keyway, back to Billings, pulls up, no good. So 
Scott spoke about the hardness of these rims. We've seen a few shots ordinarily you'd expect to go in on some of the older rims and venues around the country. Smith down low, spin move, shot up. It's good. Foul as well. And Alana Smith to go to the line to add the ab one. Really good move by Alana and that patience out there. She didn't panic. She didn't move her foot. She had her eyes up on her target. And now we see her at the line. Chance to lock it up. Gets a bit of assistance. It's there, 16 apiece. First time scores have been level since we started. They work their way through the half court trap. Mickelson a clean look for three. Doesn't go. Woods does well to bring it down. Recovers the ball for Townsville. Mickelson draws the double team. Now takes off the left hand finger rolls. Nice. Two more for Townsville. That was a really great read by Lauren Nicholson on how the defenders were, were playing that on-ball screen. She hesitated just a little bit, waited oh. till the big player left, and there we see an answer straight away. Short catch and shoot for three, bangs it down. First lead change of the game, Adelaide are in front. Payne out to the corner, look for Woods, bounces hard back off the rim. It's going to be a nightmare for teams all year. Kylie Shooks, so you've got to defend her all the way out on the perimeter and then down low, she's going to have a height advantage of just about every player in the league at 196 centimetres. Well, at one stage we thought the league might be a little small, but having seen Adelaide today, I'm going to change my mind on that. Depending on how she, she's even not even playing as a traditional big at the moment, she's playing as a small distant, what, six foot six plus is the shot up from... Billings as she's fouled on the way to the basket. Foul shots coming up. John Casey courtside. Corbin, it's been a very physical game so far. We've already seen Alana Smith and Kiana Williams for Adelaide pick up two fouls in that opening quarter. And Steph Reed from Townsville picked up two fouls in the first term as well. And she's cooling her jets on the bench just in front of me at the moment. So a physical start, and I think that's affecting the shooting percentages. We saw just 23% from the field from the fire in that opening quarter. They were 3 of 13 overall, 2 of 5 from deep. So just 1 of 8 inside the three-point line. And as you mentioned, Adelaide, none of 5 from long range in the opening quarter, but five of ten once they can get some penetration. Billings has done a great job of getting feet in the paint here for Townsville. Adelaide need to try and do exactly that at the other end. I wanted to ask you about it, Laurie. What have you made of Monique Billings' start? Well, I've liked, I liked what I've seen, and the ball seems to be in her hands quite a bit. Uh, uh, she can take them off the dribble. She's got some size out there, and as I mentioned earlier, a, an elite rebounder, so goes after, has gone after those boards really hard. I like what I see. It's one of the real pluses this year, obviously tournament style last year, completely local league up in uh, North Queensland, but the imports are real features and high quality imports right across the competition. Williams shot misses, Billings again another touch out the woods, pump fake, drives, chucks it back out to Nicholson in the midcourt. Single digits on the red numbers, shot goes up from Nicholson, draws the foul. Talbot reaching across the MVP and some foul shots coming up for Lauren Nicholson. That's tough to defend when you've got Monique Billings setting the screen and Lauren Nicholson coming off of it. Monique Billings, as you can see here, set it and then rolls hard to the basket. So you've got to keep an eye on her as well. Nicholson at 76% last year from the free throw line. Two of two. Townsville up by three. A couple of lead changes in this second turn. Well, Williams to Wehrung and then a handoff. And Williams with a foot on the sideline. So we'll give it back. Kiana Williams, in the first quarter, drafted by the Seattle Storm. Had a couple of skits there in the WNBA. So reunites with Steph Talbot. 
Talbot drawn twice by Nicholson, follows up with a big block. Talbot never out of it defensively. In transition, finishes the play at the other end. That's great to see. Steph's, Steph's been a little bit quiet so far this game, so hopefully that'll get her moving, get her going. Amazing work on the defensive side of the ball and then runs the length of the floor to lay it in. Nicholson to answer back at the other end. Rides the bump, shot up, no good. Billings pulls it down, can't finish. One point game. Shook the hand off Wera, just darts straight through the defender. Woods flying back, finishing at the basket. Adelaide in front again. Chris Lucas was telling me about Abby Wearong that she's worked really hard on the offseason to sort of change the shape of her body, get stronger. He said she's been by far the most consistent trainer that he's had so far in this preseason. Or oh, Payne trying to throw it down low. Smith got a hand on the way through. Here is Wearong to Smith, trying to back her way in on Payne. Smith spin move, baseline, shot doesn't get there. Townsville will get it back. Well, Abby Wearong. Laurie averaging 10 plus a game the last three seasons now and case mentioned earlier the amount of players that were part of that Asia Cup squad she was a member of that along with the likes of Nicholson and Akuzo and she's playing against today foul called here for the reach that really wasn't a smart foul for um, for Smith she she had the player stopped, she just needed to be tracing the ball. Instead, she's reached in and now pulled a third foul, so she'll certainly be sitting. She heard time out for Townsville and Shannon Seabohm, coach of the year last year. Very nice head to head record all time as well at 56 and 34. Mo. Right. Who's, who's guarding you? Shook. Shook, yeah. So Shook's guarding her. She's the screener, right? So Mo here, Z, Loz, and then we've got uh, Steph and Paul. You guys are in the corners. So you sprint up. If they're going to switch that or they're going to show on that against you, shorten the pass, hit ahead, just dive here, Mo. Right? So you're going to sprint up to screen. As soon as you get Loz comes off, Dive there, we'll hit the ball ahead, we're trying to go inside. And now if that defender helps, we're playing back through the skip, right? Out, outside of that, let's play out of, uh, play, like 12 was good then, right? Just gotta shoot that if you're open, right? So 12's good. Or play out of um, shirt with you two on, okay? So we've got the side ball screen, we can hit the roll. If you don't have it, follow other big short roll. All right, here we go, good job, girls. Yeah, yeah. Right, so go shakes, shakes. We've been talking about the Opals and their Asia Cup squad and also the imports, high quality imports we have here. Well, coming up 2022, the world's best players, Lori Chiswick, are coming to our very own backyard. Of course, the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup 12 team competition for the world title at Sydney Olympic Park. For more information, womensworldcup.basketball. To find out how to get tickets and what it's all about. Australian squad name during the week as well, which we'll chat about as the broadcast progresses. You can see that Adelaide have come out in a zone, which is often the case in a timeout. The coach will say, let's just go for one possession, and, and it certainly served its purpose there, and they came up with a great stop. John Casey's court side. He called, and Chris Lucas was concerned about the offensive rebounding that Townsville Fire have been able to grab there. And so that's why they went to that zone there. It is only for one possession, so Laurie's hit the nail on the head, or at least that was the explanation that I heard. And Alana Smith sat at the end of the bench. That third foul that she picked up there, as Laurie said, she had good position. It really wasn't a foul she needed to pick up because she'd stopped the play. Now she's got three. She's going to have to sit for the last four and a half minutes, one suspects. And out on the run, that's a nice finish there coming from Steph Reed. But Adelaide have so far picked up eight fouls to four. They are in a little bit of foul trouble. That layout for Reed as well, the fourth lead change in the game. So Townsville back ahead by one. Fire did score the first seven points of the ball game. Wera up top to Shaw. We know she has range. Shoots a flat one. 
pulled down the board. The, the shot clock went on to, off despite the fact that ball got there in time. He's where on. Dribble penetration, kicks it out for Simon, shoots from the corner, can't connect on the clean look. Oh. And it goes, it'll be Adelaide ball. So nice work, Marina Whittle threw it back last minute onto Nicholson. And then pointed straight to the referee like, it's our ball, it touched her. Good call on the spot as well from the ref. It's a slow motion replay shows. So 3.38 to go in the first half. Low scoring affair. The fumble from Shook. Regathers. He's square up. Seven left on the red numbers. Dribbles inside. Off the window. No good. Billings on the board. Reed up top. Nicholson for three. The clean looks good. You cannot give Lauren Nicholson that much time and space in transition to shoot the ball. She just had all her own way and nailed that shot. That's no problem for her, Lauren Nicholson. Averaging 19 points a game last season, part of the all WNBL first team yet again. Big basket too, two possession game, Townsville's way. The reason for the timeout, we need a sense of urgency in defensive transition. There's no sense of urgency. We're just jogging back with them. That's the only difference right now. Okay? Um, offensively. Okay, let's get into Iowa next time down the floor. Iowa. Okay? Move the ball. Okay, come off, get separation. Okay? That's a good three in the corner, but what can you do down there? All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, sense of urgency. Get your match up. What do you think of the timeout, Laurie? Well, exactly. When I was saying you can't leave Lauren Nicholson alone at the three-point line, that's exactly right. D-trans, you've got to match up early. You've got to be pointing. You've got to be talking. You can't let them just get, you know, do what they want to do out there. So good timeout by Chris. Uh, I think he wants to go inside now. Uh, have a look inside. They've got some size. See what they can run and... and uh, look for their big players. John Casey, what did Shannon Seaboam have to say? Really impressive work from Shannon Seaboam. He's such a cool, calm customer in the huddle. Was very direct with his players. Just to stay with what they're doing. They've been impressed so far. But as you said, he is the reigning coach of the year. His third year at Townsville after two years previously with Sydney. And he is a South Australian born, so he has got some support here in the, in the crowd today. Great to have basketball back in this part of the world, of course. WNBL last year played exclusively in North Queensland, so first time in a couple of years for a lot of the teams early in the season actually running their own games and the venue change in that time as we touched on now out at Lightsville, at 10 kilometres or so out of the CBD in Adelaide. Townsville by basket. Shook with the handoff, Simons back to Shook, got the mismatch on Nicholson, shot up, doesn't go. Billings with a rebound. I think those are the looks, the last two that, that Adelaide have had. They've been inside looks, feet in the paint. Nicholson just gets her to Talbot and finishes with a tough shot. That's not easy to send Seth Talbot flying on the ground. The refs weren't going to be drawn into that as well as Talbot went flying away. Good refing and Lauren Nicholson. With another hey, basket. Gets herself to 14 points. So starting to take over here, particularly in this second quarter. She had five to quarter time. She's got nine in the turn now. We get a look at Ella Badish. Ten games last year for Adelaide. Back again. One of the seven returning players for the Lightning. Talbot on the offensive side of the ball. Back out to Wera. Final two minutes now of the first half. Up top, Williams. Extra pass. Down to Shook. Draws the defender. Deep two. Miss fires. It was good ball movement. Good shot. Just didn't drop. 
Murray for three. No good. Billings competing for the rebound. Can't come down with it. So both teams leaving some points out at either end of the floor. Touch on the way through for Murray. Forces the turnover. Nicholson now in transition. Back to Murray for three. Hits the dagger. And that's the defensive transition that Chris Lucas so desperately wants. And it's not there in that possession. It's a big buck and it's back to seven points. Three possession game. And a game high lead for Townsville. After four lead changes in this second quarter, some dangerous moments here for Chris Lucas and his side on the verge of halftime. Again, you can see on that replay just how wide open Mia Murray was. I've seen her bang them down for more than a decade in this league now, Mia up. Murray. That's right, exactly. Uncontested on the perimeter. Williams step back to neat finish. Kiana Williams comes up with her first points in the league. Kiana Williams played uh, two years at Stanford with Alana Smith, so they know each other. They know each other's game. What a foul call on the offense. Billings going to be called for it. Trying to set the pick. And Adelaide will get possession, having now closed the gap to five points in the back of that Williams mate. Oftentimes, uh, imports take a little while to settle into the league, get used to the referees and how they call them here, whether it's they let things go, whether they call it more closely than what they're used to. Uh, so sometimes it just they, they just need to sort of weather the storm and get used to the, the way it's being called here. Williams pulls up again off the dribble. Little long on the shot. Strong rebound for Payne. So shot clock dead here for the final possession. You think the first half. Ten seconds. Cox on the perimeter. To Nicholson. Off the dribble. Hand on it from Talbot. Is a travel call. So Nicholson called for the wall to hand on it critically from Talbot on the way through and Adelaide will get the last possession as it turns out. A few seconds left on the game clock before half time, Laurie Chizik. Just, just the two seconds. Williams tries to heave up the prayer from half court into the hands of Cox and that'll do us. So a half of basketball done, 32 to 27. The Townsville Fire lead it by five. They've had it out to seven on a couple of occasions, including moments ago in the game and in the opening stanza where they scored the first seven points. Four lead changes in the second quarter. And at halftime, Townsville protect a five-point buffer in a low-scoring affair, 32 to 27. There's really not much in it as we expected with this group. 32-27, as you said, Corbin. Defensive battle, they'll settle into it. Both coaches have things to talk about at halftime, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Lauren Nicholson's had 14 to halftime. She's with John Casey. Thanks, Corbin. She's been the star so far, and she's working hard at the moment. Have you caught your breath? Have we got you in time? Yeah, just caught my breath after a really tough first half. Seven points, the first seven points of the game. Got off to the start you needed, take the crowd out of it, and you've been able to weather the storm because they've come at you pretty hard. Yeah, Adelaide are a really tough team. They are definitely up their defensive pressure in that second quarter, but we need to keep the momentum leading into the next half. We loved having you here in Adelaide for three years, including that grand final run, but I don't think you would have played here at this venue during that time. No, I haven't. It's a great venue. I think we trained here a couple of times back when I was part of the Lightning, and, yeah, it's a really fun atmosphere. And how are you finding the new group you've got together here, having been grand finalists last season? Yeah, I love this group. Um, we have a lot of the same core girls back, and the additions of Billings and Shug when she's ready, um, they're just great people and great players. Appreciate your time. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, John. Thanks, Case, and thanks to Lauren Nicholson as well with 14. Laurie Chiswick in that first half. She was dominant, and, and I love watching Lauren Nicholson play. She's one of my favourite, favourite players, and, and in fact, I tipped her as MVP for this season. But the way she goes about her business, she, she you know, can get teammates no involved. Problems at all, she can Allison. score thanks for herself. Up. 
Um, and, and it's really good to see that the way she's leading this team. But other options out there too, her, her Monique Billings has been had a, an influence. And even though Steph Reed hasn't scored, I thought she early on had an influence. And for Adelaide, well, we can see that great block by Steph Talbot and then going all the way down the court and scoring that layup. She's been a bit quiet. I think we can get her a little bit more. But Alana Smith, she's had some highlights. She's had to sit because of foul trouble. Whew. That's it. And as uh, Lauren Nicholson pointed out as part of that uh, chat as well, Shug Sutton, who's their import, the 22-year-old, who actually celebrates a birthday coming up this week, but drafted by the Washington Mystics, uh, one of their imports out of Texas University, and the NCAA system is going to come in and uh, run the point, you'd think, for them throughout the year. So we will see her as the season progresses. Now, that's how it looks in the first half here in Adelaide, it's a five-point lead for the Townsville Fire over the Adelaide Lightning. Second half action not far away, and we'll also head across the Nullarbor as well to see what's happening with the eighth team in the competition, the Perth Lynx, who we haven't checked in with yet for the new season. Season opener for both the Adelaide Lightning and the Townsville Fire. A five-point lead at halftime for the Fire. Uh, Alana Smith, the homecoming for her. Feels like a homecoming, but first time we've seen her in the WNBL at least, but an O-ball have played in the WNBA. What have you made of her half? I think she's had a really good first half. I know she's got the three fouls and has had to sit for a little while, but I, I feel like she's still had an influence and, and she's just feeling herself into this game and, and getting getting into it. You know, we saw her take a couple of threes. We saw her take some drives to basket and, and I feel like she'll get better as the game goes on and certainly as the season goes on. She's played against all these players, but not in the WNBL. Uh, we're not allowed into Western Australia at the moment, of course, with the border situation. And what it means is that, unfortunately, the Perth Lynx are sidelined for the first month of the season. We won't see them on the court until early January. But what it does mean is that we get the opportunity here to head over to Perth and check in with their new recruit, their star pivot, of course, back from playing in the Asia Cup as well with the Opals. Her name is Lauren Scherf, as you can see there on the screen. Uh, Lauren, appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Uh, first of all, the new colours in the new season obviously coming across from Sydney. What's the move been like out west? 
I've absolutely loved it being here. I mean, especially being from Melbourne where you've been in lockdown for so many months and having the freedom to go out, go to the beaches, enjoy the weather here. I mean, what's not to love? <laughs> Lauren, you've had a busy off season in that you went to your decision to go to Perth and then you went to the Asia Cup. How was that? Because that is some of the best basketball I have seen Lauren Scherf play. It was great to see you. It was great to watch you. How was that experience? I think, you know, just the girls in general, um, the you know, the elite caliber of players that we had on that team, you know, we all just wanted to work hard and, you know, um, I mean, coming away with a bronze medal, that's what more could you ask for and playing against like international players, um, you know, it's an experience that I will take with me for the rest of my career and I absolutely adored playing with all those girls and, you know, it was just like being back, you know, playing with them when I was younger. Well, with your move out west, you, you're actually playing with some of those Asia Cup teammates in Darcy Garbin and Alex Sharp. Did that make your transition to the Perth Lynx a little bit easier? Yeah, it did. Um, knowing those girls and coming off the tour and coming here to Lynx, it just made me feel more at home. And obviously the rest of the girls on the team were really welcoming. And, um, you know, and then having the imports come in, you know, it's been really good. Uh, we do have some footage here, Lauren, of one of your teammates uh, just sampling, uh, of course, a few new uh, imports in the competition this year, but just sampling some of the local uh, Vegemite. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. us Australians, <laughs> we, I mean, we've grown up on Vegemite, so I can understand how foreigners, uh, people from overseas may not take it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's funny watching their reaction, um, seeing how they uh, how they react. But yeah, it's good fun. <laughs> so that's, that's Mariana Mabry, of course, who we're going to see on floor on court this year. What can we expect from her? I mean, she's very competitive on the court. She just wants the best out of everybody. She works hard. Um, I mean, she's just an all-round player, and and I mean, I can't wait for the league to see her and how she goes. Uh, Lauren, all the very best for the season coming up. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It is something that uh, we've grown up, Laurie, our whole lives on uh, Vegemite, but I imagine it would just be an assault on the senses. How did you find it the first time you had some Vegemite? No. Not, not for you? No, not for me. Jeez. Peanut butter all the way. Um, yeah. So I can really appreciate her reaction when she had that taste of the Vegemite. Uh, Lauren Scherf, you mentioned the best basketball of her career.
second half action upon us. The fire by two possessions. 32 to 27, as you can see there on the bottom of the screen. And Lightsville, 10 kilometers out of Adelaide. CBD, a season opener for both the Lightning and the Fire, despite the fact it's week two of the WNBL season. And first leg, Laurie Chiswick of a doubleheader. Of course, the, the old rivals going at it tonight. Always a bit of spice in the Boomers and the Flyers matchup. Big game, which we'll talk a little bit more about at the end of the coverage, but exciting that we're into round two. We haven't seen these teams play, so now really there's just Perth left to see, and otherwise we've seen them all in action. Second half underway, first possession for Townsville. John Casey's with his courtside. Well, opening shot there off the mark from Steph Reed, but that last foul that we saw Alana Smith pick up has been very costly. She's forced to sit here at the start of the second half, lightning down five, so that's a costly foul from her. And again, his offensive rebounds are killing Adelaide. She's the only player in the game with three fouls. And I'm sure that's something that Chris Lucas would have talked to his team about at halftime was the offensive rebounding. No second chance opportunities. And there, their first possession, Akuzo got that rebound. Shook swings it out. Williams straight on three. Needs the kind roll, doesn't get it. Some big numbers in that first half as well. So double double watch for both Kylie Shook and Monique Billings, the two imports, both in the front court for their respective teams. So uh, Billings in that first half, six point eight rebounds, while for Shook, seven point seven rebounds. Here's that, Billings again with the first points in the second half. That is, I mean, it was a great basket, but to me, what stood out was Steph Reed's pass. The way that she curled it in there, she had the vision to get that. Uh, like I said, she hasn't scored Steph Reed, but she's been influential. Nine point game now, so new game high. Williams for a mid range, doesn't go. Corbin, one of the things I noticed in the stats in the first half was that Adelaide have only gone to the foul line four out of five times. They just aren't getting their feet in the paint enough. They're settling for mid range jumpers or threes. They need to go to work inside and try and draw some fouls, whereas. Townsville have gone to the line 14 times. Back-to-back -back makes for Townsville to start this second half and now a nine-point buffer and a nice two as well from Lauren Nicholson. Picks up where she left off. Up to 16 points now. Such a great stroke. Just gets it off so quickly off the dribble. The better we get, they don't even know why we're doing what we're doing. Like, up to nine points. In fact, up to 11 points on the made basket for Nicholson. John Casey. Again, Adelaide slow to react here at the start of this term. Finally, they score. It's taken them more than two minutes. They gave up the first seven points of the game that opening quarter. They gave up the first six here out of half time. And now finally, it's Steph Talbot who breaks the ice. She actually scored first in that first quarter as well from the free throw line. And that's exactly what they should be looking for. Any sort of mismatch. If she had Lauren Nicholson on her, Steph, Steph Talbot's a big, strong body. She's so athletic. She can post up and just a nice finish. Makes both at the line. So 29 to 38. Back to a nine point game. Talbot in that first half at six points, a league MVP. Townsville with a hot start here to start the third. Kuzo on the perimeter. Moves inside on Shook. Spin move, goes uh, off the glass, and that's neat for two more. It's Alana Smith, so she's on the floor now with three personals. Down to Talbot, up top. Shook. The elbow back out to Williams. Two left on the shot clock. Williams, pop fake. Won't get a shot off. She doesn't. And that's costly, so Adelaide can't get a look up. And they'll hand possession straight back to Townsville. And you can see there in that replay, Akuzo did a great job of stepping off of her and using her length to contest that ball, to contest that shot. 8-3 run to start. 
the third quarter. Nicholson from long range puts up the three. It's long the shot. They scoop up the offensive rebound. Man Murray all over. Nicholson off the pick. Off her left hand, swings it to the weak side corner. Billings pulls up the three, knocks them down and finishes with the follow through as well to let them know all about it. And Chris Lucas wants to chat for the Townsville fire with the hot start here in the third quarter. And Billings, who's done plenty of work inside Laurie Chiswick, is starting to find her range from downtown. Well, I tell you what, they're playing well as a team. They're spreading the floor. They've got some inside presence, so Adelaide has to pay attention to that. Then that skip pass across court. Nice catch and shoot by Monique Billings. Listen in with Chris Lucas. I can't imagine to be that happy. Yeah. 11 to 3, the run yeah. to start the half. Shakes. All right. Now, they're beating us on offensive rebounds in our house. We do every day. Every day. The ball's coming long and they're cleaning up. Okay? Now, Zatina, when she catches her, even if you get her off the block, she's not passing it. So do... Yeah, let's, let's try and shade it to the baseline and see what she does. So make sure when the catch. Go back the other way, because she always wants to come back left or right shoulder. Okay? All right, we're in three shakes here. Out of the timeout. We're going to go to a matchup zone. Not a, not a standard. Matchup zone. Okay? Listen to Steph's voice. She twists it when she's ready. Okay? Got that? Where we go. Stay, stay in it. The you offensive get, rebound, 7-4 to four Townsville's way. Total rebounds, plus 9 Townsville. Back up what Chris Lucas was saying there, John Casey. Great huddle there from Shannon Seaboam and the Townsville Fire. He was very quick. They all bounced into the timeout, obviously, with his 13-point lead. But he just told them, let's just calm down. Job isn't over yet. Make sure you're working hard at the defensive end. Get more stops and we'll continue to be OK. And you really have to take your hat off to Townsville. They've come here undermanned. Of course, uh, no... Sook Sutton playing for them here, so only nine players. Lara McSpadden's played less than a minute, so they're going with an eight-person rotation, and they've got Adelaide exactly where they want them at the moment. Thirteen points as wide as it's been. What did he put it down to, Laurie Chiswick? Well, I find that I, I feel that that Townsville are really taking their time. They're they're, they're patient with what they do they've got lots of different options out there Adelaide still look a little bit disjointed in what they're trying to run Talbot for three can't connect and Kuzo pulls down the rebound look at that three point percentage at the bottom of your screen so just ten percent for Adelaide and those numbers worsening on the back of that miss one of eleven Reed nice pass straight through to Akuzo off the glass for two more to me, it looks like Townsville have played together for, for a while, M much more than, than Adelaide right now. And if you look on the floor, Adelaide have three players that, that haven't played at all together in Smith and their two imports. Now the turnover. Nicholson takes on Talbot, creates some room, pulls up the jump shot. Doesn't go. But everything else has gone their way so far to start the third. Talbot dumps it down low. Smith puts the shot up. Doesn't get the bounce she wanted off the rim. Pulls it down. Talbot from long range misses. Billings on the rebound. Monique Billings takes the length of the floor. Can't finish the rack. Smart play to just attack Alana Smith and see if you can get her into her fourth foul. Fortunately for Adelaide, Alana stayed strong and kept straight. Talbot long again on her jump shot, so she's three of eight from the field. Steph Talbot, nine points in the game. I think Adelaide need to get it through hands more. Make, make Townsville play some defense. Shift them around before you get that shot up. Reed off the dribble up top to Akuzo. Back to Reed. Guarded by Shork. Reed still reaches around, tries to lay it in off the window. Foul called, and it's on Alana Smith again. Reaching over the top of Billings, so she'll pick up her fourth. Lana Smith, she's played 15 minutes so far, and now a fourth personal foul. 
And all that, by the way, Laurie Chiswick, when no other player on the court has three. Yeah, in that it's instance, it was the offensive rebound, and then Alana left her feet, jumped in the air, and you can't do that, especially with somebody as experienced as Monique Billings. Alana Smith, Tokyo Olympian, of course, part of our Opal setup. As Billings makes her first at the line to push it out to a 16-point spread, John Casey. She's been good from the stripe, hasn't she? Six of six in the first half, Billings. And the commentator's curse still in function here in the WNBL as well. But I agree totally with Laurie. Adelaide need to get the ball through sets of hands. A one-pass offense isn't going to do it. I'm surprised he's left Alana Smith out there with four fouls at the moment. They've popped it up again. And there's no one hitting the boards for Adelaide either. Double-double already for Billings. More points and more pain for the Lightning. Alana Smith's fifth foul, and she is done for the night. So Smith out of the game, Billings up to 13 and counting. And the game high lead continues to grow at 18 with one to come at the line. And that's all we'll see of Alana Smith on a WNBL debut. Fouled out after 15 minutes with four to go in the third. Well, I guess you have to consider Alana like an import as far as getting used to how the referees call things and because really she hasn't played on a sh Australian sh shores at all, so. 19 point game, just three points in the second half, which is now six minutes old for Adelaide. Meanwhile, they've conceded 17 at the other end of the floor and now an offensive foul as Wehrung walked straight through Steph Reid, who was set the charge has been called, and Townsville will get it again. Everything's going their way here, Laurie Chiswick. Oh, Steph Reed anticipated that beautifully and took the drive from Abby Wehrung straight down the middle of her body. Yeah, it's, it's clearly going Adelaide's way, uh, going uh, Townsville's way right now, and, and Adelaide just can't really do anything right. Just one made field goal in the quarter for Adelaide. And the ball finding energy here through a number of hands and right on cue, Spree throws it away. Adelaide come up with it. Here's Whittle along the baseline, puts the shot up. Foul on the defense here, she'll go to the line. Marina Whittle to shoot two. Reed trying to draw a second foul there. And as many plays. Whittle her. Oh, in fact, they did, oh, call, they it. did call it a charge. My apologies. So, back to back plays down the floor, and Steph Reed is able to draw it on, a, on both occasions. So, put that one down to Marina Whittle. What a loose pass offensively for Townsville. Everything going their way at the moment, and takes a deflection late off the lightning. So, Townsville ball, 19 point lead. Isn't that always the case when one team has the momentum, everything goes well for them and, and, and for Adelaide, they just really need to get, there's still a quarter to go, a quarter and a bit to go. They need to get back to basics, try and get some stops and just get the ball through hands and get good shots up. Paint shot blocked by Steph Talbot. Not letting one go up that easy. Three to play in the third. Catch and shoot, Nicholson. Little long and Whittle wrestles Billings for it. A foul going to be called here on the fire. I mean, Billings, hell of a stat line already. So 15 points, 11 boards. So Tina Racuso also on double double watch with nine and nine. Kylie Shook for Adelaide, their importers. Played big minutes. First outing. Down here in Australia, seven points, nine rebounds. On her way to the basket, foul called on Badish. Twenty-two-year-old. So we know that Billings. We said that at the top of the show, she is an elite rebounder. She might be challenging Annalie Maley for those um, <laughs> top rebounder this year. Both of them just have a way of, of finding the ball. Well, our first nationally televised game last week, we had a 
Bendigo and Southside, and they were the only two teams in the league without an import. But we were promised Laurie Chiswick that the imports are here, they're back, and they're good. And we've seen that already on display for the first three quarters or so here with uh, the fire and the lightning turning out for the first time in the new season. And Nick Billings, the double-double before three-quarter time. Paddish makes one of two, 18-point game. Double team on Woods. Now trying to fight past Talbot. Gets it to Nicholson. Along the baseline, swatted away. Nice bit of work from Whittle. Blocks the shot. That was good team defense by Adelaide. Some, some help on the drive. Whittle coming over and getting that block, that finger to it. Really put some pressure on them. One, one second left on that shot clock. Catch and shoot scenario here. Nicholson sits down. So Reed, Woods, Acuso, Payne, and Cox. The five out there for Townsville. Cox catch the baseline and it rattles in. Michaela Cox as the shot clock goes off. Just in the nick of time and it's out to 20 points. It's been a horror third turn for Adelaide. They try again from long range. And Kennett rattles out. Steph Talbot jacking the three. And Reed fouled deep in the backcourt. Just four points, one made field goal in this third quarter for Adelaide. 19 to 4, Townsville outscoring the lightning in the period. And in the bonus. First game of the season after a considerable layoff. Lauren Nicholson saw some shots getting her calf worked on. I'll hit the case for an update in a moment, but 16 points. Two rebounds, four assists. The line for Lauren Nicholson so far. Hopefully it's nothing other than just maybe some, just a little bit of tightness, some cramping, and that, that she just needs a, a gentle rub to get herself going again. Home is Sydney, so she went from Sydney to Townsville to prepare for the season, did the two weeks quarantine on arrival, was out of quarantine for a matter of days, picked in the Asia Cup team, so went away with the Opals, came back from the Asia Cup, did another two weeks quarantine, so really she did about four weeks in about a, a couple of month period for Lauren Nicholson, so can't imagine that's all that much fun. Zortman puts up the shot, doesn't go. Well, you know, the whole the whole border restrictions, the quarantine has, has really had a, you know, a, a somewhat of effect on, on a few of the teams. I know with Adelaide, a couple of their players from Victoria chose not to come over early to join the team a bit later just so that they wouldn't have to quarantine in Adelaide, that, that sort of for their mental health and preparation, it was better to be in Victoria. So there's all sorts of stories like that, and, and I'm sure that's going to continue all season where, where those things are going to be impacted. It's just the, the world we live in now. John Casey's courtside. Thanks, Corbin. Just spoke with Lauren Nicholson. She's all good. She'll be coming back. Just a few running repairs, a little bit of a cramp in the calf. She had a banana, and she's got a, a, a power aid there ready to go, so uh, she'll be back shortly. But this has been a horror show for Adelaide here in this third quarter, as you mentioned. Just four points, and Alana Smith fouling out, struggling to get the ball over the halfway line. It's just full credit to Townsville, though. They've taken Adelaide out of their comfort zone. They've taken the crowd out of the game. And right now, this looks like a question of how far Townsville. Just 31 points. What, 28, 29 minutes of basketball. Hot minute left in the third. Ortlip down low. Talbot catches, wrestles through contact. She'll go to the line to shoot a couple. So nine points for Steph Talbot, six boards, all on the defensive end. Foul shots four and five for her coming up. Well, we saw a, a real difference in some of the games that we've, you know, in the first round and, and a high-scoring game when it was um, 
Southside and Bendigo, and then a real grind them out game with, with Sydney and the Caps, and then Bendigo and Melbourne. And, and here we're going to see a relatively low scoring game, although who knows how far Townsville may kick ahead. Critical foul shots there for Adelaide. Talbot, a perfect five of five from the free throw line. Just the one made field goal from their six points in the quarter, Adelaide. That was from Steph Talbot. Cox to the corner. Woods pulls up, deep two, doesn't go. Shook pulls it down. Forty seconds before three-quarter time. Shook to Whittle, turn, shoots. A little long. And Ortlop and Reed just wrestling for it under the basket. The foul's going to be caught on Steph Reed. Adelaide will get possession back. She had a shoulder such a big load last year, Steph Talbot en route to winning the MVP, a five and eight season for Adelaide, but Talbot putting up big numbers, 18 points a game, nine rebounds. Edging out Liz Cambage and Lauren Mickelson, a couple of the other leading contenders last year for the top gong as the premier player in the comp. She did, she had a, a great season, and, and as you said, she, she really had to come out every single night for Adelaide and score big, Rebound big, defend. And then straight back over for another WNBA season, of course. A trip to the Olympics, part of the Opal squad in Tokyo. As Michaela Cox shoots a straight on three, doesn't go. Talbot averaging 18 minutes a game for the Seattle Storm in the most recent WNBA season. Long range three, that's pure. Boy, did they need that. Just their second made three. Ella Badish knocks it down on the stroke of three-quarter time. It's just Adelaide's second mate from the field in the entire quarter. As Townsville start to take over, it's a 15-point buffer for the visitors. Three quarters through this one. And Corbin, I'm not really sure. Thank goodness that went in for them because one pass and a shot from, uh, you know, a big player out at the three-point line. Great job. Final quarter action coming up. Townsville by 15. We have... Right? We've got to keep rebounds. Right? And hey, we we'll start this quarter. When we get rebounds, let's play pace again. Right? You go. Push the ball. Everyone run with it. Right? We don't have it. We we can play out a strong reverse. Right? We're good with that. Just get to our floor spots, shift the ball, get to the three side, keep executing girls. Right? Hey. Right, let's really come out of this huddle here with a lot of intensity. Right, let's go. Here we go, Townsville! Shannon Seaboam, what's not to love Laurie Chiswick from that third quarter? They have scored Townsville 21 points to eight in the quarter. I don't think if we put together a highlight reel, there would be too much in that third quarter for the Adelaide Lightning. It was all one way for Townsville. And they look relaxed right now. Shannon looks relaxed. All the pressures on Adelaide just to produce something this last quarter so they can actually take some positives from this game. 15 points for Monique Billings to go along with her 11 rebounds. Acuso still 9-9. Nine and nine. Lauren Nicholson leads all scorers with 16. While for Adelaide, Talbot has 11 points and 10 rebounds for Kylie Shook to go along with her 7 points. John Casey, you're in the other huddle. 
Chris Lucas trying to remain upbeat here, just telling his team they all need to rebound. They scored the last seven points of that third quarter, cut it from 22 back to a 15-point margin. He wants an early score here just to get them certainly with some momentum and try and build on that. Thanks, Case. He's an opener for both these teams. His short turnaround jumper off the front of the rim. It's been that kind of night. That's the 10th rebound for Akuzo, so needs another point for her double-double. Payne throws it away, hand on it from Simons on the way through. Whittle back to Simons. Simons takes the contact. Foul shots coming up for Sam Simons. This is one of the few actual transitions, baskets or, or, or attempts that we've seen from Adelaide, really trying to get a good solid rebound, push the ball, get to the rim straight away. Mentioned it earlier on the broadcast, but Shook at Sutton, the 22-year-old import for Townsville, not playing today. Drafted to Washington in the 2020 WNBA draft, so they'll get her as a backcourt option to improve their roster. Townsville as the season progresses as Sam Simons with some more points, so she's got three now, all of them coming at the foul line. And now foul caught on Payne at the other end of the floor, so called for the defensive foul on Simons. Called for this move here, but the moving pick on the offensive end. Back to 13 points all of a sudden. Williams for three, clean look and bangs that down. Now wasn't that needed? Now you have a 10 point margin. Now we're back in a ball game here. Hold the phone. This is a look like it was all done and dusted. Just four possessions in it. And another settler for Lauren Nicholson pulls up for the foul line. Back to 12. Got out as wide as 22. As John Casey said, scored the last seven points of that third quarter. And open with the first five points. Quarter number four. Whittle back in the keyway, puts the shot up, doesn't go, grabs her own ball. A oh, great vision along the baseline to Talbot. Talbot pops it in. Shannon Sebo wants to chat. Ten point game. Adelaide have found a little bit of rhythm. That was all to me, Whittle. She made a great cut to the basket on a Steph Talbot pass, got that second, that rebound, just that deflection back out to create something, and then Talbot driving it hard in. So, yeah, there's life in this game. There's life in Adelaide. In about eight minutes of the quarter, making one field goal, Adelaide. Now, all of a sudden, last seven points of that quarter, they've scored eight points already in this period. And it's only... 70 seconds old, cut a 22 point so deficit we'll to 10. Out, so, uh, we'll tell you which one, right? One of you guys will be in the four, in the trail that has the small big. Whichever one has the small big will be here, right? We're just going to go reverse, right? Dive in against the small player, point guard space, the other big flash, right? So, if they front it, throw it here, then we're going over the top, right? Yeah, get a bucket. Hey, hey, right? Defensively now, right, it's got, that's unlucky, right, we're fine. Got to keep grinding stops down here now. We'll get this next time, right, then go horns up and go at whoever's got the small player. Yep, right, here we go, fire. So that's Shannon Seabone, the coach of Townsville. And there's Chris Lucas, the Adelaide coach. John Casey, you were listening in. What did Chris say? Oh, boy, mood there in the huddle. They think they're back in it here. They're feeding off the energy of the crowd who have sprung to life as well. This has been Adelaide's best patch of the game, no doubt about it. Finished the third strong. They now think they've got something to work with. But again, the emphasis from Chris Lucas was on rebounding. He wants five players hitting the boards and keep up the energy. Rebounding tally for the game, plus 11 Townsville's way. And on the offensive end, 10 to 7. Dump down low, Billings takes the catch and... Talbot picks her pocket. Down to Shork, a little loose on the pass. Shork keeps it alive, throws it away. Townsville executed what Coach Shannon Seagorn asked in that timeout perfectly. It's just Talbot played even better defense. Billings, loose handle on the perimeter. Out to Cox, back up top. Nicholson 
Single digits now on the red numbers. Nicholson to Billings. Catch and shoot, same motion, doesn't go. Williams up the floor, attacks the basket, draws the foul. On route, and she'll have foul shots to come, Kiana Williams. She had a home crowd now in the game. Adelaide's new home in Lightsville. Gee, it's tangible. You can feel the momentum absolutely has swung in this game. Oh, you can. You can feel it. I mean, you can hear it in the crowd. You can just see the Adelaide players have lifted. Just that little hesitation by Williams and then taking it to the basket. She makes this shot now that's only an eight-point game. It's seven and a half to go. She does just that. Up to nine points for the game. Decorated college career at... Stanford for Kiana Williams. Nine points on debut in the WNBL. Townsville again down to single digits on the shot clock. Cox down low to Acuso. Shot blocked. Last touch by Townsville over the baseline. Adelaide get another stop. Eight point game, seven to play. John Casey made a really good point, Laurie, earlier about uh, the unavailability of shook up the fact that they haven't really used McSpadden, so really they've been going with eight players who have played big minutes. First game of the new season, travel involved. As to what impact that's going to have late. Whittle down low, puts the shot up, is foul. She'll have to earn them at the stripe. They've all played big minutes, first game of the new year, Laurie, so 31 for Nicholson, 25 for Billings, 23 for Acuso. I don't, uh, you know, that could play a factor, but when you look at Adelaide as well, uh, with Alana Smith in foul trouble, you know, that's restricted their rotations. But I, I give full credit to Marina Whittle for coming on and, and, and in this it, crucial time in the third and now in this fourth has having, had a real impact. And Adelaide, to me right now, are playing the smarter basketball. They're getting it through hands. They're, they're looking at different options, driving it a little bit more and uh, it's reaping rewards. She makes both at the line. It is a two-possession game after Townsville led this by 22. Six points in it. Townsville with the ball in hand. Nicholson to Acuso, settles on the deep two. It's a little long. Billings pulls down the O-board. Billings back to Acuso, second look at it, a third attempt. Too many looks on the offense, and Acuso with the basket has a double-double, and Townsville back out by eight. Simons to answer at the other end, can't connect. It's amazing what a little bit of scoreboard pressure can do. Uh, one, to lift the team that's putting that scoreboard pressure on, but just tightens up the other team that little bit. Townsville right now, just their shots aren't dropping quite as much. They're not playing quite as loose. Yeah, it's a great thing. John Casey caught side. Great point, Laurie. Was just about to make it myself. You can see them. They're not as fluid on the offensive end now. It's being a little bit tough, and it is that scoreboard pressure. With two minutes to go in that third quarter, it was Townsville by 22, and since then, Adelaide's outscored them 18 points to four, and we've got a ball game. Alana Smith fouling out after 15 minutes. On the court in that third turn. Here's Nicholson, who was so good in the first half. Bounce pass to Billings. Gets it to the corner. Shot goes up from Murray. Catches the rim. Oboard Nicholson. Puts up her J. It doesn't go either. That was great team. Again, great team defense by Adelaide Lightning. Helping out. Oh, Williams off the dribble. Oh. Bounce pass. Almost lost it. Recovers, Talbot down low, short draws the defender, and off the window, kisses it off the glass for two. Back to six points. Kylie Shook up to nine points, 11 boards. Now Williams harassing Reid up the floor. In the single digits on the shot clock, Billings catches down low. Whittle guards her, knocks it free. Billings regathers, draws the extra defender. Time running out, they're not going to get a shot up, and the shot clock violation. Adelaide get it back. 
what a turnaround in this game from 22 down to now Adelaide ball in a two possession game. Well, to me, it is all about the defense that Adelaide are playing right now. That's giving them the energy. That's giving them options at the offensive end. It's just so it, it, they're all over them. They're helping each other. They're smothering them. And Townsville really don't have an answer right now. Just four points in the quarter for Townsville so far on the back of a 21-point third term. Simons. Back to Talbot, clean look for three, got it! <laughs> that was again Kylie Shot rolling and being a presence inside, drew that defender, great kickback to Talbot, and what a time to nail that three! Three point game on the back of the made three for Steph Talbot, the league MVP. Akuzo trying to get some safe points, too much on it. Trying to lay it in off the window, and Adelaide get the rebound through Shook. Williams off the dribble. Hand on it from Billings over the sideline. This is like a boulder down a hill at the moment, just all the momentum with Adelaide from 22 down to draw within three. John Casey sideline. Kiana Williams with the ball now. She's been really impressive here in this last quarter. And that's a great rebound from Talbot. Ball spills outside, four on the shot clock. Simons fires, can't connect. Well done, Marina Whittle, to get in there. Back to a one-point ball game. Timeout called. But Townsville has four team fouls in this quarter as well. I'd like to see Adelaide get inside and try and get to the free throw line. An amazing momentum swing in this game. Adelaide coming from 22 down, trailing 53 to 31, deep into the third quarter. And now with four minutes left on the game clock, it's Townsville 57, Adelaide 56. And we're going to listen in with Chris okay. Lucas. Stay with our five out stuff, but off the time out here, go to power. Okay, you okay with that? Power, I don't care which one comes off. You've got to get to the opposite corner quickly. Then we've got to hammer if you need it, okay? Stay with our five out. Up is good. Make sure we, if we go loop, make sure we have a look inside here, okay? No, five out loop. Five out loop, okay? I don't, we don't want to play half court here. Hey, they're in bonus. Keep getting to the foul line here, all right? This end here, they will probably come inside, work together, talk. Clean up and go. All right, get to the foul line. Uh, I'll help you. Hey, when you need thumbs, okay, I'll get you know. All right. Let's go, P. So really good messages from Coach Chris Lucas as far as let's run right now. Four minutes to go. Do we have the legs? Can we secure that rebound and get it up the court? Get some inside looks, let's get ourselves to the foul line, which is something they've done a great job of this second half because they were four from five to begin with. John Casey. Shannon Seaboom just trying to get his players just to relax, stay calm. He said, look, we play well enough to get up 20. Just go back to doing that. He wants them a little bit organised in the half court as they are at the moment. Just to take a deep breath and get back to what was working for them in that first half. Extra pass from Billings to Reed, and now Nicholson puts up uh, the shot. That's pure. Lauren Nicholson just when they needed that ice cold basket, she comes up with it. How good is Lauren Nicholson? They needed that basket so desperately, and she just she's just putting the team on her back and say, "Look, give me the ball. I can do this." And now Mia Murray creates the turnover, and Townsville get it back. So the two leaders for Townsville stepping up big here. Can it be a momentum shifter? Nicholson to do it again from the elbow. Uh, she does it again, all right. Lauren Nicholson when it counts. Great players make great plays. And Nicholson with two back-to-back -back makes chance to give Townsville a bit of breathing space in this final term. That's why we love watching Laura Nicholson play. That's why we love the ball in her hands in these important situations. She is not going to let you down. Back to five points after drawing within one.
Hey, really good job. Two good plays, settle it down. Right, we just, hey, we need three stops in a row out of this timeout, though. Right, so let's make sure we pick up full court here, take some time off from getting into it, right? And let's get them into late clock three times in a row so we're in hustle, right? Next offense, right, when we run one now, don't, so come up, don't flip it back that way, send her back this side. Yep, right back to the outside. And now, if you can set a good screen, Loz, you can come and snake that. Now you die, all right? Uh, I wait a second for you, Loz. Yeah. Hey, next play, next play. Go horns out, right? Mo, you're in the corner, Mare's in the corner, Z and Loz, right? So go Loz's side, get it back, flare Loz. If you've got downhill, good. If not, if she keeps it, spread ball screen here. If we throw it there, spread ball screen there. All right, here we go. Fire. Good job. She's up to 22 points now, Lauren Nicholson. Six of them coming in this last quarter, but critically, her last two makes have pushed it out from a one-point game to now Townsville leading by five. John Casey, court side. Chris Lucas wants pressure on the rim. He wants them to get inside and try and get to the foul line. And they're going to blitz Nicholson. They want the ball out of her hands. Someone else has to beat them. They don't want it to be Nicholson. Three to go. Williams for Adelaide. Down low to Shork. Last touch Townsville over the baseline. How do you see it, Laurie Chizzy? Oh, we're out of our chairs in here. It's, it's, it's very exciting. I, I'm... I'm glad that that we're seeing this because we you really see the makeup of a team when it's when it's this close both of them I'm, I'm glad that Adelaide's fought back Townsville now are steadying and we're in you know these last two minutes It's still anybody's game three on the shot clock Williams down to Shook Shook bangs bodies with Billings ends up over the baseline In fact the players did the ball stayed alive Nicholson throws it away and Billings gets it up into the front court So they get a stop 2.30 to go, five-point game. Townsville lead it. Back to Nicholson. Six left on the shot clock. Bounce pass to Acuso. Acuso drive, shot goes up, no call. Adelaide come up with it. Talbot up the floor. Out to Weira. Oh, no. Throws it away. Yeah, just not the turnover you want at this stage. Billings in the passing lane, and now she has her pocket pick. Simon's excellent. Throws it up to Williams. Good decision to just pull it out. There just weren't any rebounders there if you had taken it in. Simon's the youngster. Backs in, kicks it out. Shook shoots a three, doesn't go. Talbot reaching over Reed, grabs the board. Simons pulls up herself, left it short. And Billings the rebound for Townsville. They nearly need to come up with a stop here, Adelaide. Townsville will probably be looking to use as much of the clock as they can. Finally, this game by 22. Adelaide drew it in one earlier in the corner. Out to the corner. There's the shot from Murray. Mia Murray, the vet, with perhaps the game-saving basket in the corner. Warding off a hell of a comeback from the Lightning. And Mia Murray just taking photos out there in the corner. Had plenty of time. Laurie Chiswick and bangs it down as she's so often done. Well, you have to, Adelaide did exactly what Chris Lucas asked. They were blitzing uh, Lauren Nicholson, doubling her, getting the ball out of her hands. That meant everybody else had to scramble. Townsville did a great job of moving that ball, finding Mia Murray wide open in the corner. Whew, and she just let that one rain. We can't listen in, of course, final two minutes. We'll check in with John Casey at the end of it, but there's this Mia Murray basket. Positioned in the corner, held her spot, and Akuzo was able to hit her up. And she, Mia Murray, she's not missing a clean look from out there with the game on the line. Adelaide now need to come up with some three-point shots. So Chris Lucas would be designing some some plays, some things to get some three-point shots. Townsville, conversely, will be going switch everything. Don't give them any threes. Don't allow them to get back into this game. We've got a nice eight-point margin. Let's keep this here. She was a Rachel Sport medalist. Mia Murray, of course, back in 2014-15 when that man, Chris Lucas, led Townsville, uh, the Townsville fire to the championship. Of course, she has three of them, Mia Murray. John Casey's with us courtside. 
Listening in with Shannon Seabone there, he's predicting Adelaide are going to play through Steph Talbot, which you would think is going to be the play. But he has said full credit to the girls for fighting back. They've scored the last seven points in two and a half minutes here. So after Adelaide closed within one, they've steadied the ship and they're going to make Steph Talbot a focus here at the defensive end. Eighty seconds to go. Abby Weira to Williams. Five left on the shot clock. Step back three. Williams left it short. Shook competes for the rebound. Nicholson comes up with it. Gee, their big players have stepped up. So we've got the Murray three in the corner, but also she came up with that critical turnover as well to set up the or in between the Nicholson baskets. Nicholson back to Acuso, lays it in. And all of a sudden, it's back to double digits. Townsville by 10. That's just the class of Townsville and the experience of somebody like Lauren Nicholson. We are a little too much on the three-point attempt. Extra pass. Talbot straight on three score. Back to seven. Still a three-possession game. Gee, Adelaide want the ball here. They're going to get it. As Williams knocks it into Reed, and it was last touched by Steph Reed over the sideline. Adelaide ball. Never say never, Corbin. Oscar, just when it feels like you're ready to say, yep, that's it, the game's over. Always has a happy knack of just taking another late twist. And now lightning ball here with 40 seconds on the clock. In the shot. Here's Sam Simons, puts it on the floor. Billings tries to block, no call. The putback from Talbot misses. Townsville had got it. Akuzo pulls it down. Seven point lead for Townsville as time running out and they have to foul. As we run called for it on Lauren Nicholson. Wow, what a fourth quarter this has been by the Lightning and then in the latter stages, the fire. It has had everything. Still got one to give. It's Murray into Nicholson and we run again fouling, send her to the line. They've got more than one to give. <laughs> so, still still sideline ball. Townsville get it in for the third time in a row. We're on fouls Nicholson. Fine. Gee, it's very unusual you see this, isn't it? That you know, there's so few team fouls so late in the quarter. And that's one thing you think. You go, that's great, they've played such great defense, they're not fouling, but when they're in this situation, when they want to foul and get them to the line to stop that clock, it doesn't help. Townsville by seven, Murray with the inbounds. Down to Reed, it'll be Williams who's called for it. Surely that's got to be shots now. That's four, apparently. So all four team fouls in the quarter have just been given in that moment. They didn't have a single team foul. So nine and a half minutes into the quarter. Reed hands it in to Nicholson. Talbot tried to foul, couldn't get to Nicholson. Runs out some time on the clock and Shook eventually gives it. And so there's the fifth team foul. It's not often you see that, John Casey, so deep in the quarter that all five team fouls have to be assembled late. Yeah, it was, Corbin, and let's not forget that Adelaide were over the limit in terms of fouls in the first quarter and the second quarter, but then they got down here with this play phase, and they had zero team fouls in this final quarter. Eventually, they've racked it up to five, but they sent the wrong person to the line here because Lauren Nicholson, but she's a big-game player, and hasn't she closed this out in style? Just the two points for it in the third quarter. And it's taken over big time in the last with the game on the line. Up to 24 points, eight final quarter points. Need to make threes, Adelaide. Long range from where on. Can't connect on that. Murray comes up with the ball. And the Townsville fire are going to go to the line again as a late foul is going to be called on Sam Simons. Steph Ray to walk the length of the floor with barely a second on the clock to finish it off. 
coach is happy to thank one another. I'll see a bit more of each other as the season progresses as well. Two games in January, back-to-back -back Friday nights, both in Townsville. The fire to host the Lightning, Jam 7 and 14. And the scoreline's not going to do it justice in the finish. It's going to read an 11-point victory for Townsville, but they ward off a hell of a comeback to close out and win their season opener. Victory for Townsville over Adelaide who came from the hills from 22 down to draw within one. And then when it was time to close, the fire did just that. Settling the better to prevail 70 to 59. An 11 point win for last year's grand finalists to start with a W. You're right, Corbin. The scoreline doesn't quite do it justice to, to the closeness of the game and the comeback of Adelaide and then the steadying factors of, of Townsville. This game was just I, I really enjoyed watching it. I, I think when Adelaide really picked up, then their, their defense showed it, and they'll be fine. They, they take a lot of positives out of this, um, that, especially that fourth quarter. Wild momentum swings, game one of the new season. So just to recap, 53 to 31 was the scoreline late in the third. Adelaide scored the last seven points of the third quarter. And then in that final term, Drew within one. The score at one point was 57 to 56. And then the final run was, what, 13 points to three, Townsville's way when it was time to close. And that was led by Lauren Nicholson, all WNBL first team last year, league MVP candidate, and she will be again this season. And also Mia Murray, a big stop, and then a corner three. And the Fire win game one of their new season. This 11 point win over the Adelaide Lightning. John Casey. Thanks very much, Corbin. Lauren Nicholson, congratulations. Uh, that was a tremendous effort by you personally and the team to get the result there after Adelaide closed to within one. Yeah, I'm really proud of the girls. Um, it's been a long pre-season and I'm super happy with the result. Adelaide are always going to be a really tough team and they have some really high quality players, so we're really pleased to come away with our first win. And full credit to your team because you were short-handed today. You really only use an eight-player rotation. You're hobbling at the moment. Are you sure it's only cramp? Yeah, just a little cramp. Nothing that can't be fixed for next week. And what do you think that shift in momentum, what can we put that down to when Adelaide came storming back? Oh, look, I think that they up their defensive pressure and we need to do a better job of handling that. But that's something we can look at on film this week and make some adjustments leading into next week. Always a tough place to win here when you come to Adelaide, but you've done that. Great way to start the season. To the fans back home, they'll look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, I'm so excited we get to play at home. I'm expecting a really big crowd uh, in Townsville and yeah, can't wait to get out there and just play like we did today. And we know that Shub Sutton should be back for that game, which is going to help you. But a word on Monique Billings on her debut? Yeah, she's an awesome athlete. I think as the season goes, she's just going to get better and better. And that's just really exciting for our team. And a word on Alana Smith. I saw you have a nice moment with her post-game, obviously. Uh, what was that? Can you share any of that? Uh, Alana and I are really great friends, and um, we always have been. And, yeah, it's nice to see a familiar face when you come to another state. And, yeah, hopefully I'll get to see more of her tomorrow and the next day. Really appreciate your time. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wasn't it a joy to watch her play again? Lauren Nicholson with 24 points, leading the Townsville fight of victory. Back to wrap it all up next.
Townsville warded off a big fight back from the Adelaide Lightning. They came from 22 down to draw within a single point. And then Townsville just had to steady a little more down the stretch to get it done. They win by 11 points. It was a much more entertaining game than that. The first time we've seen the Lightning and the fire for the new season. Laurie Chiswick was with me for the whole game. I guess the significance of it, Laurie, coming out. What did we learn about either team in the hierarchy of the competition this early on? Well, we saw some impressive things from Townsville and their, their imports in Monique Billing and, and how athletic she is and, and, and what a great rebounder. Uh, Zacuzzo was really good, and we know that uh, Nicholson, well, she was just a superstar. I like the way they played. I like the way they distributed the ball. For Adelaide, well, it wasn't until their defense really picked up that they became a factor. So Chris will take some things out of that, as will both teams. Uh, you're sticking around, Laurie Chizzy, because there's another game tonight. Of course, the fierce rivals, the Southside Flyers, up against the Melbourne Boomers very quickly. Who wins? Oh, well, on, the, on form, I'm going to say Southside because certainly Melbourne didn't play that well against Bendigo. But look, look as we can see, things can certainly change around. Uh, good luck for all of that as the WNBL rolls on. Uh, on behalf of uh, John Casey, of course, courtside, I'm Laurie Chiswick. Uh, my name's Corbin Middlemass and our entire crew. Thank you.